Did you know that you can generate barcodes in Excel and it's completely free? Well, if you didn't know, stay tuned and watch this lesson to learn how to do it. And the trick here is mostly about using fonts. So let's start. As you know, there are a lot of barcode types that you could use. So I have here in front of me the ones that are the most used in the world. So you have UPCA and UPCE. This means universal product code. And it's mostly used for things like groceries, household, etc. And they are scanned. So when you go to the supermarket, for example, you'll find this kind of codes. EAN 13 and 8 are actually the same, but it's the European version of those codes. Code 128 is the ASCII 128 character set, and usually it's used in logistics for ordering, distribution, transportations, etc. And then you have code 39, which is one of the most used ones. It means basically code 3 and 9, so 39 digits and character. And this is used for automotive industries, name badges, inventories, etc. I'm going to put a link where you can download this workbook so you can have these definitions and then you can just try a few of the barcode types. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is you need to download the right fonts. So I'm going to put again links in the descriptions where you could download those fonts. So here I have, for example, EAN 13 font. So if you click, I'm not a bot, you can just click here and download it. Here you have 128 barcode and code 39. You can download them again here with the links. And here you have UPC A font. So you have to find the font that corresponds to you and you have to download it. Again, those are places where you can download those fonts. Once you do this, most probably it will download everything in your download folder. So to install this, you just double click on them. You'll get something like this. You click on install and then it will install your font. So I'm going to do this for those three first. So this is code 128 and this is EAN 13. So we have it. Then this one, it's in zip. So you'll right click with a zip program and you do extract all. So you extract this, you get it here. So you have a couple more fonts to install. So you have this one, this is 39 regular, and this is the other one. Once you install all your fonts, it is very simple. You just go to your Excel sheet, you open it or you open a new Excel sheet. In this one, I have some sample data. So I have this data for each type of code. For code 39, it is better to put an asterisk before and after whatever you want to code because some of the barcode readers will not be able to read it. And then you have to just check for the other fonts what to do. But here I have some examples. The other thing that I advise you to do is to transform your cells into text. So if I click on this one, I can click here under home and then I go to number and then I click on text and this gets displayed as a text. So when I went there, I clicked on enter, you can see that this becomes a text. So this is just best practice in case you have a zero here. For example, here, if I put a zero, the zero disappears. So this will avoid you this hassle. And then it is very simple. We're just going to do equal this, same for this one, same for this one, same for this one. Then it's just about format. So if you see here, I have code 39. We go to our downloaded fonts. For example, here, it's called free 3 of 9. And you can also see it in your download, free 3 of 9. So what you do, you select your cell. You go here, you type free 3 of 9. If you open here, you will see that you have two of them. So you have free 3 of 9 and then you have free 3 of 9 extended. I'm going to use the extended one and here you go, you get your barcode. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger and you can see it. Let's try code 128. So I select the cell, I go and I check, I see code 128. 
Okay, so code 128, enter. This is my barcode. We can make it bigger. UPCA, same technique. You can see UPC-A. So I select my cell, UPC-A, enter. This is my barcode. And then last one is EAN13. So I select it and then EAN-13 and I make it bigger. And this is how you generate barcodes in Excel. This is kind of a font, so you can just apply the fonts to any cells and then you just type whatever you want to change and it will be auto-generated into a barcode. And then you can just copy the barcode somewhere or print it and there you're done.